we just mentioned um, that you yourself have had cancer uh, a couple of times. Yeah. How did, how, did, how did you kind of walk through that? You know, what difference did your faith well, in Jesus make, you know, when you well, were... Well, the first time I had cancer, I, I wasn't a Christian. So, you know, like, I, I was, you know, I went to the doctor, uh, the hospital, uh, went in to see one doctor, see another doctor, and I was about, I was about 35 at the time, training fighters at, a, at the Royal Oak, Bruno, Jimmy Mack, Kayla, and different people like that. And uh, anyway, so I got in one, and my mate was with me, who took me up there, I drove him up there, actually. And um, they never mentioned the word cancer to two or three doctors that I spoke to, and I thought, I, think, I was just going to say, I wasn't a Christian, but I was just going to say thank God for that. I did. Anyway, um, come out, I went to my mate like that, put me thumbs up. But when I went to see the main man, he was sitting down, he, he was reading my notes. I assume that was my notes. And his name was Mr. Hackett. And I, I was standing and I went, excuse me, Mr. Hackett. I said, he looked up, he went, this was, I said, what is wrong with me? He said, you've got cancer, Mr. Tibbs, don't you know? I went, no. The shock, the shock of it, I thought, cancer. We're talking about 35 years ago. You couldn't even mention the word then, around where I lived anyway. Anyway, so I thought, oh, the first thing I thought was my wife and two kids. I was only young. Jimmy was about 14. Mark was about 12. And, oh, and um, that was the first thing. Anyway, I drove my, told my mate, he nearly fainted. I had to drive him home. And um, went down to see me, went round to see me dead. And I said, I'll never get it. I told me Dad what happened, and he just cuddled me. And I said, Dad, you will look after Claude and the kids, wouldn't you? Because I thought I was going to die.